this is $20,000. But we ain't talking about that shit right now. And these are a lot of iPhones. I don't know how many they are, but they're a lot. We got some more over there. You wanna go check them out? Let's go, shall we? So we started with this, right? This was one, two, three, four. Many unbearable hours later. One, two, three, four. 44 iPhones, all right. So let me ask you something. I know a lot of people wanna learn how to get this money. So I've been getting a lot of DMs. Everybody talking about, oh, Big Round put me on. How do you do the phone game? How do you flip phones? I'm gonna tell you how to do it, right? But understand, I am not a financial advisor. And I've been doing this for a very long time, so you're not gonna have my results. But I'm gonna let you know how you take this money, buy something like this, sell it to a buyer, and then get more of this. If you find that interesting, stay tuned, bro. I think this is gonna be like my little first little YouTube training course, you feel me? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all know how you get into the phone game, eBay, Macari, some shit like that, how y'all can really scale this shit. Get your notepad, you know what I'm saying? Don't be watching the video and don't take notes. That's not that's not smart, that's not smart. That's not smart thinking. Well, yeah, man, tap in with me, let's get it. I want to make some money. That's what Big Ralph you here, man. So let's talk about it. Have a conversation. Ah. Ooh. Rule number one, man. Make sure you drink your motherfucking water. Let's talk about the phone game, right? Understand that when you first get into any business, it could be phones, it can be cars, it can be catering services. It's not going to be easy. If you want to learn how to make money like this, just pay attention. You don't have to do anything that I say. All I do, take something like this, I buy it at a price. It doesn't matter what price I buy it at. You need to buy this at a price you can make money at. This right here, what I'm about to tell you, a lot of people might say this is stupid. This is a 13 Pro Max, 256 gigabyte for AT&T, right? Somebody hit me up yesterday from a mutual contact. When you get into the phone game, when you start building a name for yourself, people are just gonna know who you are, especially if you do good business. One more thing, always do good business. Always be a person of your word, always be reliable. So somebody hit me up yesterday. They were like, um, yo, Rob, how much you doing on um, 13 Pro Max, 256? I said, man, listen, man, right now, I don't really wanna buy that shit, but I'll buy it if I got to, cause I said the price is ass. So I hit my buyer up, my buyer told me he'll give me 594. So I said, you know what? Fuck it, I ain't gonna be greedy. I bought a ship for 570. Now a lot of people might be like, oh no, nah, I don't know, $20. It's not about that. Think about this. You got 300 items. It can be 300 anything. If you make $20 off each, that's $6,000 in the profits. This is right here is the phone game. The number one thing of the phone game, you do need a supplier. That's rule number one, find a supplier. But the second thing is volume. You wanna get a lot of phones. Now the profit might not always be big. Some Sometimes I make $50 to $100, but sometimes when I'm dealing with suppliers, people that get, bring a lot of shit, I can't make $50 to $100. I gotta make that 10, I gotta make that 20, and that's okay. If you're gonna be that type of person that's always greedy, you're never going to get a deal. Like for instance, I do consultations. If you wanna book a one-on-one -on -one call with me, DM me on Instagram, it's Words by Rob, the same name as his YouTube. But I was doing a consultation like a month ago, and this guy, he's already in the phone game, right? But he's not scaling. So we having a conversation. I said, okay, bro, how many phones did you get this week? He tells me five. I said, okay, break down your profit. So his profit is, you know, $100 here, $50 to $70 a day, right? So I said, okay, bro. When somebody hits you up on the ad, that's just something I'm, I'm going to tell, tell you about later in the video, so stay tuned. I said, how much do you buy 13 Pro Maxes brand new from the Apple store unlock? The best phones to get in the phone game is the unlock because you get almost retail. Stay with me, bro, because when the new iPhone come out, the 14 Pro Maxes, I'm going to be the only one on YouTube with 50 to 100 of them shits. But the unlock phones, if you got a good buyers you can sell them like kind of for retail i said how much do you uh how much do you sell a 13 pro max for he tells me 1080 i said bro that's a good price because i sell at 1080 the 13 pro max 128 gigabyte is 1099 in the store we sell at 1080 right now price might drop because the new iphone about to drop so I said, okay, bro, when somebody hits you up, if they be like, hey, man, I just seen your ad. Um, I got a 13 Pro Max from the Apple store. How much do you offer them? This motherfucker tell me 850. That's the reason why you can't make no money because you're too greedy. Why are you trying to hit home runs? You're not going to get rich off one phone, so don't try to get greedy off the profit. Don't get me wrong. If you can make $100, make $100. But if you got to make 20, make 20. Don't get emotional with this shit. Trust me. That's rule number one. Don't get emotional with your profit. Don't really care about the profit. The reason why cash flow is way more important to profit because you're going to constantly be reinvesting your profits so why care about your profit 
Of course we want to make profit because this is how we make money and this is how we move. This is how we make a living for ourselves. But if you sold, oh, I got to make a hundred, I got to make a hundred, you're never going to get plugged in. You're never going to be that type of person that people want to call because you always trying to lowball. Come on, bro. Just make 20, bro. Just make 20 or 30 or whatever you can make. You know what I'm saying? So next, right? Now this video is not scripted or anything. This is how I speak. Pay attention. A lot of people want to know the difference between eBay, Macari, and direct buyers. I'm going to tell you from my point of view because I sell on all platforms. Hey, listen, you can look at this video. You can look at another video. You're never going to learn anything if you don't get out to the field. The best advice I can tell you, try to get your first phone, bro. Go on Facebook, offer up, and just try to negotiate a price. What I like about Macari and what I like about eBay. Now, the thing I like about eBay, eBay is very, very good for shit like this. You see this? This is a crack. This is a 12 Pro Max. This is fucking cracked on both sides, but it's still active. I got this shit for $200, but I know for a fact I can sell this shit for three for 350 easily. If you put this on eBay, I would say when you have shit like this, if you really wanted to sell very, very fast, put it in the auction and it's sell. Now, this is what I don't like about eBay. Say you put something into the auction and they buy it. eBay gives the buyer opportunity to pay like later right so what people will do people will buy your shit oh yeah okay i just sold it i just sold it and then when it's time to make the payment they don't buy it so you gotta list it again another thing what i don't like about ebay is this when you sell items on ebay a buyer can return the item no matter what even if you say no returns ebay guarantee they can return it it doesn't matter what you say what happens now macari this is what i like about macari and this is what I don't like about Macari. Mine with Macari is, you can sell shit fast too. When you post something on Macari and someone buys it, the buyer has three days to make a decision. If they don't make a decision in three days, Macari is going to automatically uh, give them a rating for you. And what this is means for me, they can't return it. So they have three days to check out whatever they buy from you. If they don't return it, Within three days, they can't return it ever again. That's why Macari, I kind of like Macari better than eBay sometimes. Now, this is what I don't like about Macari. When the person on eBay pays, it's gonna take it's gonna take like a day to process, and then the money is going to go directly into your checking account. If you're established on eBay, when you first build an eBay account, it's gonna take time for you to you know get your name out there and everything like that. With Macari, is different though. Macari, when the person leaves the feedback and everything, the money stays on Macari because what Macari really wants you to do is basically leave the money in there and keep spending on it. The money is left into your Macari profile. Then you have to send the money to your checking account and you have to wait up to five business days. You can do, if it's deposit $500 or less, you can do an instant deposit for $500, but it's a $2 fee, but that's only one time. That's the only thing I don't like about Macari. Other than that, I fought with Macari because you don't got to worry about nobody returning no phones, bro. That shit is kind of a pain in the ass when you sell somebody some shit and they don't read descriptions and then they want to return just because they didn't read the description. I had a customer like that the other day. He fucking bought this 13 Pro Max. Dude thought it was iClouded. It wasn't iCloud. It just couldn't restore it. But I could have took it to the Apple store, but I ain't got time to deal with that shit. I'll make my $200 and just bang it. I put it on the auction. He bought it. He started asking me questions. Why the hell... Would you bid on something if you don't read the description, bro? That's stupid. He <laughs> right, right, me like, um, am I going to be able to restore it? I said, bro, did you read the description? He was like, oh, can I cancel the order? Bro, how, how you going to cancel if you already paid? <laughs> listen, 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 listen here, boy. Once that money going inside out my account, it ain't never coming out. <laughs> Still some of the things I like about uh, eBay and car. eBay, you can sell them shits very, very fast, bro. Like, I didn't put phones on eBay and them shits been sold in five minutes. You know what I'm saying? The only thing about it, the, the fees is very, very high. But it's a way to get over them fees, bro. Who cares about the fees? Once you build a system and a strategy, it doesn't matter about fees. This is the plan how you make $150,000 on eBay. You get 250 phones a month. 250 divided by, what is it? Eight phones? Hold up. You need to get 58 phones. Hold up. <laughs> so I for, my mouth kind of wrong, but you just need to get two. I ain't do all that math. You need to get 250 phones. There's 250 phones. I say a month, bro. Bro, this shit is a grind. You feel me? If you get 250 phones a month and you make $50 off each phone, bro, that's 12,500. And then you do that times 12, that's $150,000 a year just off eBay alone. Phones sell very, very fast. And to get shit like this, cracked on both sides, bro, shit like this, you can get this shit for $150. It's damaged. When people hit you up on these 
ads and shit that you run because you do have to run ads. I don't run ads because I'm already in the game. I've been doing this shit over five years, so I'm already connected. I already didn't build relationships with different type of people. When you run these ads and people hit your ads up and shit like this, bro, you can offer them whatever the fuck you want. They're coming to you because they have something that they want cash for. Why you think pawn shops is still in business? Because people need money and people are desperate, so they gonna sell their shit. I remember somebody sold me a 12 Pro Max for 280. That bill was factory unlocked. I sold that bit for 580. You feel what I'm saying? It's out there, bro. It's out there. Trust me. All right, next step, right? Before we even get phones, we got to do the groundwork first, right? You want to create a buyer's list. I can give y'all a buyer's list right now. Go on Google, and it's called Atlas. Atlas Mobile. It's when you go on a website, they're going to give you a price sheet. You can go off there. I pay the same as that shit, though. But I'm telling you, you need like something to go back on so you can really... Because I like... When I, when, when I first started this shit, I used to like having a price sheet. So I, it makes it easier. All right. So we on eBay. Let's just say... Let's look at... uh, Say you've seen something you want to do. I'm going to do iPhone 12 Pro Max. 120. We're going to put 128 AT&T, right? All right, so we see this, right? This is not what we want to look at. This is what people are selling this for, right? What we want to do, we want to go to filter, but show more. This is how you see what people are, have sold their phones for. So we go to sold items. This, this is this is how you decide what you need to pay for phones. All right, so we see seven ninety eight. Now understand, he did not get paid seven ninety eight. This is what he got paid. It's seven ninety eight. Take away thirteen point eight percent. He's got, look, you see, look, you see how much eBay take away from these phones, right? Exactly. He got 687. So you need to try to get that 12 Pro Max blue. He just sold it. Let's see. Hold on. This one is, this one is cracked, but this one is unlocked. Look how much he sold this shit for. You know what I'm saying? You see, look, look, look how much he sold this shit for. Bro, he probably got this shit, bro, for probably $300, bro. $300. And now he making $387. He did offer free shipping? Look. And they paying for their own shipping. That's another thing, too. When you sell phones, never, never, ever add shipping. Always make them pay for their own shipping because iPhones, they're going to pay for that shit regardless. Okay, this person sold, uh, look, you see this right here? Apple iPhone 12 Pro Max 128. He sold it for 575 right? He made off of 575 take away 13.8%. He made 495 He probably got that shit for 400 because it's blacklisted. You feel me? It's blacklisted. So yeah, man, that's what eBay good for. eBay good for shit like that, bro. Whenever you can't, it's a, it's a lot of phones that I didn't got that I couldn't move to my buyer. The iPhone game is a season. The best seasons for the iPhone is basically when a new iPhone drop. The new iPhone always drop around middle of September or like or late September so it was around now I would say September to like April and then around like May June it started slowing down July August that should be trash and then it'd be all over again now let's talk about buyers list like I just gave you our buyers go to Atlas Mobile on Google you have to ship them phones but when I first started I ain't used to ship people phones I still don't really ship people phones unless it's on like eBay or I meet a new buyer because with eBay also, you can receive buyers. How you really obtain a buyer's list is really work. You go on these apps, Google, and you put, we buy phones. It's sometimes there's a lot of people buy phones on Facebook, Craigslist, everywhere, right? Everybody buys phones. That's why I say a buyer is not really important. It is important. It does plays a part to have a reliable buyer that buys a lot of shit. That is kind of hard to find. You got to really be on your grind and keep working. But basically what you do is it's kind of the same thing as wholesale real estate. You go on Google, whatever, you get prices for a phone. You see somebody add, you be like, oh, hey man, my name is, you don't even got to tell what your fucking name is. Nobody gives a fuck what your name is. All they give a fuck is about is you finna sell it as a phone. So you be like, hey man, I got a, he had a 13 Pro Max, AT&T, 128 gigabyte. How much can you give me for it? They probably gonna ask you how many you got. You can say, man, I just got two. They're gonna tell you a price. You write the name of the buyer and his number and you put what he pays. You do that shit for 10 more people or 20 or how many else buyers you can find. This is what you have to do. This is groundwork. Or you can just sell that shit to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a buyer too. I got the best OEM prices in the game. People who I surround myself with they got the best price so we all do business together but this is what you gotta do bro it's like this game is not easy bro it's a lot of people that get into this shit and then they get out because they don't have that in them bro you gotta really have that fire in you and it's not just iphones either there's a video on my youtube bro i be i be fucking with the game the video games i be fucking with a lot of shit i just like phones because the apple shit is fucking on steroids it's like crack even look it's so crazy right 
the 14 Pro Max is going to come out. So the 13 Pro Max is, is going to be unlimited. You can sell unlimited of those shits on eBay. We're in August, right? And you still can't list a lot of thir uh, iPhone 13 models because it's so powerful. eBay will restrict your ass if you put a lot of 13 series models. It's too much of a demand of that shit. That's why the iPhone game is so slept on and nobody knows about this shit. But I'm okay with it because this game not for everybody. Everybody... No, a lot of people won't take spending six hundred dollars to make twenty. It's not ideal to do this business, but if you do it the right way, you can make a lot of money. So let's see what I went over with. I know I'm all over the place, but if you paid attention to the video, I still did give some tips. The creator buyers, this all you do, you go on Craigslist, Facebook, offer up whatever who's buying phones. You ask, you ask, you tell them what you got. I got this. They're going to give you a price, write it down their name, and do that shit for 20 more people. If you guys got more questions, please put that shit down in the DM. Because YouTube is like kind of strange to me. I don't be saying comments, and I don't want people texting me and acting like I'm mean and shit. I just don't be saying comments, man. I never did a video like this. This is, this is how you kind of start in the phone game. But to be totally honest with you, bro, you just got to try some shit, bro. I never, ever looked at a video how to flip phones. Ever. Never in my fucking life. So... I feel like the best teacher is going into the field and try to figure it out on your own. If you want to book a call with me, you can do that shit. That don't mean you're going to be successful because a lot of people, I done had eight consultations already. And there's only like two people that really be tapping in with me. I'm not going to hold your hand like, yo, did you do this today? Did How many people did you talk to today? That's another thing that you got to do, bro. Everybody has to know what the fuck you do. Big Ralphie do phones. Everybody know me. Everybody got to know what you do. It's not just about phones. Every business is the same, bro. The world is operated around buy and resell. And it's also operated around products and services. It's either you sell something or you provide a service for someone. If you don't do either or those two, you're going to be employed by someone who does that. So it doesn't really matter what you do, bro. Like That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Like Whatever you do... Be the best at that shit. I'm not, I'm not smart like that, bro. I'm not. Some words, I don't even know how to say words. You know what I'm saying? Some, you know, y'all see how I speak. I just know what life is and what you got to do in life, bro. For my people, because there's a lot of young men, they be DMing me in my Instagram. Y'all boys need to live below y'all means and y'all boys need to understand what's at stake. Y'all lives, you feel me? Where y'all going to be in the next five years? It's not really important where you be in the next five years. It's really about now. The future really doesn't exist. It only now exists, bro. Just like the past doesn't exist anymore. People are stuck in the past. Get out of that. Knuckle down. I do everything. I sell on eBay. I sell on Macari. I sell on Facebook. I sell on OfferUp. I sell locally. I meet people off eBay, do business with them, take them off eBay, and do directly through PayPal. That's another vibe. That's another jump. So now what's going to happen is... You're not going to pay that 13.8% for the fees. You're going to pay that 2.9% with PayPal. You make way more money that way too. Listen, I got a buyer for iCloud. I got a buyer from a, like a different type of unlock because certain buyers, when the season changes, they prices change. His prices probably was good right now, but now his price is ass. That's why you need multiple buyers. Yeah, you can sell me phones and shit too. I'll buy them, but you need multiple people like me, bro. So with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. This little, I don't know what this shit was. I don't know. What to call this shit is just me having a conversation with whoever's on the other side of that computer screen and i got more videos coming and i just want to change the world bro you know what i'm saying i just want to change let people know that like you ain't got to go to college you ain't got to look a certain way you can you can rock no haircuts like me and then i got a haircut now nah, but i ain't look like this yesterday we ain't gonna talk about how i look but yeah, man, that's about it. DM me if you got any questions, consultations, all that other bullshit. And let me know what else videos y'all want me to talk about. Because I, I do what y'all want me to do. It's not what I want. It's what the people want. So with that being said, y'all, keep flipping. And we all in. Bow.